What's up Raiders Bionic here, welcome to today's Raid Shadow Legends video where we're going to go over the brand new fusion that was just announced. Really excited about this, but I'm also a little bit concerned. I don't know about you guys, but this is pretty close to the one we've just had, right? So is this the new format? We're going to get literally fusion into fusion, whether it be the fragment or the traditional one like this one is going to be. This is rough on our resources, at least it is for me. I'm not used to this. I typically account for a bigger... Uh, break between each so that I can stock up, but now I can't. So today will also be about a couple tips of what you can do to start preparing ahead of time because yeah, even though it's in three days, you can still do a couple of things to be better prepared for this. First though, let's go over this new champion. He is called Vergumkar. Ver yeah, Lizardman faction, spirit type. We don't have any spirit legendaries in here and it is going to be a support champion. We also have his skills. Let me pull that up for you guys. We're going to go over that real quick as well. Skill number one, Bejeweled Bulk. It's a stun, 35% chance of placing a stun on a single hit, and this chance increases to 15% for each buff on the target. Really interesting. Uh, also, maybe we're gonna be able to book this, maybe for a higher percentage chance, which I would be very surprised, but then again, we never know. Honored Ancient is a skill number two, removes all provoke debuffs from uh, allies and one random debuff as well. This is pretty solid. It's a cleanse, somewhat of a cleanse, not a full cleanse, but at least a good portion, right? Uh, we also have a play 60% increased defense buff for two turns on allies who have debuffs removed. Really nice. And then we also have a shield buff on all allies equal to 20% of this champion's max HP for two turns. So increase defense and shield buff. This is like a Thanosol or a Zelatar, right? I think they're, they're, they have something similar, as well as a cleanse, very solid skill overall. Then skill number three, Crushing Trample, attacks all enemies, removes one random buff from each enemy. So a strip also has a 75% chance of actually removing two random buffs from the enemy. Okay, so a pretty good one at that, right? Um, probably can book this to a 100% chance. So if you don't have Madame Cerise, Cithalia, Seer, this is a good champion for a buff stripper. Then we also have a place 100% block kill debuff for three turns on enemies who have one or more buffs removed. And then we also have a 60% decrease defense debuff for two turns on enemies who have two buffs removed okay so really nice this is a little bit more conditional so i wouldn't exactly count on that but still this will address sort of like the force heavy teams right now like i'm doing in tag arena with my rosin my skull lord uh the mausoleum mage i even i even have the uh what's his called uh, mountain king in there right now right all shield heavy so he's gonna come right in there and he's gonna strip them so Really nice. I like him. I don't know about you guys, but I like him overall. Definitely going to work on this guy. Then his passive, uh, Saurian Stoic, I think. Immune to provoke debuffs fills this champion's turn meter by 20% each time an enemy attempts to place a provoke debuff on this champion. And he has an aura to increase ally resist uh, in all battles by 55. So this is not on the level of Rosin, which is 90 for the arena. But still, 55 overall is pretty solid. Okay, so... Are you guys going to go for him? I definitely will. And let's go over some of my major tips to help you guys be better prepared for this. So the first one is obviously food. Do you have food saved up? I don't, right? That's what I'm, I'm saying that I didn't have the time to prepare for this. Heck, I've been going all in for Faction Wars. And now that we just had the Fragment Fusion finish, I thought I'd be good. I thought I'd have like four weeks to accumulate resources, but I don't. So, um, Bruce, do you have enough? I always keep a couple. So I'm somewhat always prepared, right? This is sort of like my plan B and it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, go like dig deeper into my resources. Therefore, those brews will come in handy, but I don't have enough food. That means that I might have to start working on food right, right now. Drop everything else you're doing, but I'll get back to that in a second. The next one is of course the potions, right? Uh, do you have enough potions saved up? I always keep a certain amount of these as well. I obviously don't have enough of, let's say the lesser voids right now. Now, and I've shown this before, I'll show it again, but it's typically always balanced. All right? At least it was for the last uh, Cantra Fusion. Gurptuck was very balanced as well. We had a little bit more Force Champions than we did Magic Champions. But for the uh, Cantra, it was literally the same amount of uh, Magic Rares, Spirit Rares, Force Rares, and Void Rares. Therefore, you already know you need at least 40 lesser Void 
uh, affinity potions okay so you can work on that as of this sunday pay attention to when the keeps are open um, then, of course, we have also the uh, extra copies of champs. Hopefully, you guys have not been eating all your extra champions, right? Thinking the fragment fusions were the only thing we were going to get now. So again, my vault is always full with champions, maxed out level, okay? Ready to go for fusions like this. Again, being prepared. You guys can do this as well, okay? Maybe not as of right now. You only have three days. But in the future, be prepared for this. This is exactly what I mean. Then we have uh, the calendar, which I have right here for you guys. So this is the one from Gerbtuck. Obviously, it is going to be different. But what I want to point out about the calendar is, one, pay attention to it when I'll make it on Monday. But also pay attention to the days that are going to overlap, okay? So for instance, the Gerbtuck had started with a dragon tournament. However, the Dungeon Divers event only started the next day. So if you have any extra XP, or not XP, but energy saved up, and you spend it all on the first day, well, you're only getting points for your Dragon Tournament and not for your Dragon Tournament and your Dungeon Divers event. So it'll be really important to have a general understanding as how the uh, events and tournaments are all going to line up, okay? So I'm probably going to do the other format that I've been doing, which is this one right here. So I'll make something similar for the upcoming Fusion as well. Again, tune in on Monday. I'll have this ready to go for you guys. I'm going to provide my predictions on the amount of points where we're going to need perhaps for the rares or epic champions also pay attention if you can get a second copy of a certain epic champion that it's a game changer you might actually want to push further in some events because of that champion okay we've seen it with let's say uh sepulcher sentinel uh basher right those are all excellent champions extra champions to have an extra copy of because you might actually use them the next one is uh, basically um what you can do right right now for instance we have a dragon tournament ongoing okay and i was looking at the rewards and i mean yeah it's great i can push all the way and get a void shard uh not this one right here sorry the dragon tournament although i'm i'm only doing stage 17 right now so it's going a lot slower well, not a lot slower but i'm getting less points overall not to mention less useful gear right so even if i push further and i get let's say an epic tome for the remainder of this tournament is it actually worth it or should i instead be preparing for the this fusion by working on food one i'm going to open more mystery shards i would work on this champion chase tournament make it to a double xp because i'm only about 100 points away this double xp i can leave there until this tournament ends and then it's going to go into my inbox for six days so i'm going to stock up on a double xp for the upcoming champion training event for the fusion right same thing with our current events right now. We have a Dungeon Divers, which you could be doing the Dragon Tournament, but we also have a Champion Training event. So instead, if I start doing food right now, I'm going to keep working on this, even though I don't need any more fragments, but let's say I make it to... Probably not. I'm, okay, let's say I make it to an extra 50 gems, right? 50 gems is 50 gems. That's always nice. And then Dungeon Divers event. I mean, again, maybe I'm going to make it to a couple more gems here. Maybe even an extra double XP yet again. Okay, so I'm going to start stocking up on things uh, right away. All right. And uh, if you have any sort of like energy coming in from your daily login rewards, more double XP, factor that in as well. If you have, let's say, your uh, monthly or weekly quests that are about to reset, save those as well, okay? Uh, don't go burning all that extra energy right right now unless you really need to to farm potions from the keeps. You know what I mean? So you can already start preparing for this, even though it's a little bit last minute, okay? So guys, that's probably going to sum it up. I want to know what you think about this new champion. Are you excited about this? I really like the uh, crushing trample skill. The ability to to remove buffs from enemies a buff stripper i've said it before but we don't have a lot of those champions in the game uh, i have made videos on top five of these champions uh before i didn't cover the remove buffs champions in fact they're already there you just don't see them right now i was going to save this for a future video but this is important crowd control in this game is really important and removing buffs in my opinion is a form of crowd control okay so um I'm going to say he's an important champion, at least for somebody who's starting out or even maybe trying to be a little bit more competitive in Tag Arena. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later.